Brotherhood! Let's go. Sail out! Sing, Sing my ravens. Back on site. Some sort of armed camp there. Fortifications there, I want.
Come here! of war. Can't do this alone.
Why the wailing? We are a band of bards, ahead of our time. Musical prodigies, even. But that madman, the self-proclaimed Bishop of the Ruins, is our biggest critic. He calls our playing the Devil's Bagpipes. That strange instrument, made of bladder and bone. It does wheeze like an old woman. He drives away our audience with his doom knelling. All we want is to bring a little joy to this jilted generation. Worthy aim. Maybe he needs convincing of your talents. You would volunteer? Ah, oh, you are a lover of fine music. This is surely an omen. Ah, this cacophony. It is as if a thousand devils grind their pointy teeth. Why not let the boy play music? He brings pleasure to the people. Music is the devil's wind breaking. Foul and rancid, I... Bishop of the Ruins. Is this title Alfred given? It is God given. He spoke to me as I stood one night pissing against the stones. I am his instrument to stamp out the devil's tune. Then you and I must disagree. Maybe in... Punch the praise! You have done us a great service. I will compose this day into song. Farewell. May you continue to make merry harmonies. Smack my bishop! Smack my bishop! Yeah. 
Frisia, we honor your type, Pagan. We strive as you strive to achieve the perfection of the Ancient Ones. Pagan? To be Pagan is perfect. Then bless you, Raven Bearer. Ha! 
It's a fine. Oh, look. I could do. Come. J Let us play.
will do. Interesting. Very good. Have you cornered now? You, this. Oh. That is enough, all I.
Magna voce letrari canes belli tu e Seems Elderman Beerstan has made this ruin his longhouse. Why is my cup empty? Perhaps because you have drunk the barrel dry? Lord? Ah, a heroic looking Dane in our midst. I'm looking for Beerstan, the Elderman of the Shire. Our Lord is not at home, but his wife is receiving visitors upstairs. In her usual fashion. If you speak with her, pass on that we've run out of ale. Perhaps because you have drunk the barrel dry? Damn, beer Stan. His household is as poorly run as his land. Estrid is a good wife. Far better than he deserves. You would say that, Adrian. Your wife acts like a sow in a skirt. My sweater run is a worthy woman, you coxcomb. She's an excellent cook. With a fine nose for trouble. With a fine nose and troubles. It's been a You! Guards will come at one cry from me! Sheathe your blade, lady. I'm Eivor of the Raven Clan, here at your husband's request. Another Dane. I am Estrid, wife of the Lord of Essex, as you may have heard. My lord is not at home. I'm wary of rounding up Saxons. Is your husband stolen, drunk, or wayward? 
He'll be stalking the woodlands today, hunting game and ignoring the vital affairs of Essex. One such affair is why we called for you. If I can find him, I'll remind him of his duties. Ah, such would be a miracle. His favorite haunt is southwest of here. The lavender fields there attract the prey, God help him. With luck, he hasn't been eaten, but I'll return either way. Patience is a godly virtue, Adred. Even the saints were tired of waiting for near stand to hang up his bow. Dear Estrid, we must discuss the affairs of this land, with or without him. This place would have been impressive once, a long time ago. Ooh. 
got something going on. Show me. Hunting is a fine sport, but I hope the Elderman has not become the prey. No good comes from a camp this bloody. They were caught off guard as they supped. of the hunting party. This one was savaged by a large animal. They were attacked by a beast. Something strong enough to kill the horse. prey left these tracks in the grass. The hunters were prey to a large beast or two. I can only hope that Bjerstam still lives. Paint me. Be my eyes. Kirsten? Ready your weapon, or accept your fate as a feast for bears. Get some blood survived this ambush without you you have my gratitude to stumble upon me in my moment of greatest peril perhaps you were god sent i'm estrid sent your wife and the thanes of essex both want your balls on a blacksmith's anvil when do they not you could return and report that the savage claw took me poor beerstan his exit pursued by a bear ...and make the beast Lord of Essex in your stead. No doubt my Estrid would prefer his velvet paws to my callous hands. So, who are you? A sellsword? I am Eivor of the Raven Clan. You hinted at an alliance for the loan of my unique talents. It's blood, yes. Let us return to Colchester at once. 
and we'll speak more of the delicate matter on my mind. I'm glad you answered my summons. I did not expect such a skilled fighter. It's good I came when I did. You lost... They will have the proper rights, and their families will be cared for. Your people sacrificed much for your sport. They did. There is no balm for my tortured heart. Why did you ask me here? Do you believe in true love, Eivor? I have loved. But have you truly? Has a longing burned in your breast, a sweet, lingering pain, paralyzing you with its sting? There's pain enough in battle. I do not seek it out in love. I long for it. The thrill of a fight softly won. My wife Estrid lacks fire. She is a fish out of water, cold and dead. She showed great passion when I met her, keeping your thanes in check. Oh, they love her, it is true. Some with too much devotion. And I have not been a good and attentive husband. I have always been a plucked goose in matters of love, and a piss-poor ruler to boot. Strong must be the hand that steers the ship, Beston. My hand would rather tug the cat gut of a well-crafted bow, my eyes narrowing at the sight of prey. Aye, the crown sits heavy on the head. Then let us run wild and free in the woods as the wolves do. Live on our wits, prowl and stalk and feast. You have a romantic way about you, Beston. Do not fret. My guards will not worry you when we are together. You mismark me if you think I'm capable of worry. Have you built your city in the ruins of another? No, these builders are lost to the annals of time. Far advanced of the Saxon hovels of Wattle and Daub. I have ambition to build a great palace myself, with mosaics and balmy courtyards. What stops you? That which stops all but the most creative minds. Coin, imagination, talent. And your people? Is Essex happy? That is a question I never really ponder. I suppose they are. I hope they are. Alfred believes I rule like a chickless hen, flapping and squawking over nothing but the farmer's dinner. He interferes. No, he disapproves. Is that not infinitely worse? But look, we are nearing my hall. I must face the wolves at my door before we discuss your favor to Essex, Abel. It may be I can speed your business along. Ready to help me fend off the spears of their displeasure? Let them speak their woes. I'll advise you if I can. Who is this owl, Beeston, that twitters in your ear? An advisor, nothing more. Here to help Essex navigate her brewing storms. Now, my dear brethren, Adred, perhaps you will start us off. What troubles you? You're a disgrace, Beeston. Couldn't get a sow pissed at an alehouse. Alfred's men are crawling all over Essex. King Alfred, yes. Though it is within his right, the constant presence of his men is certainly an issue. Are they men or babes? If Alfred meddles in the affairs of Essex, send his men home in shrouds. Ah, we should challenge his right to rule. Was not Essex once a thriving kingdom of its own? We should fight, yes, fight! And you, Wyatt, what do you say? Your preparations for the Lammas Festival. How can you think of spending so much coin when your people are starving? He should put his own ham fist in his purse, and contribute coin to the festival. Yes! You worry about the cost of such a festival, one that thanks God for our great harvest. Uh, contribute your own. 